Is this for real? Pitch flipped out. I didn't think she was that messed up. Who is that up there? <laughs> she can't die. She can't. Try something. I won't be able to rewind again and again. Keep going, Max. You. Do it! Yes. Oh. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now! It won't work. I don't have any power. Now I have to do this by myself? Max, seriously, don't come near me. I will jump. Okay, okay. I'm right here. Kate, please. Oh, Max, I know you want to help me. I love that you stepped up to David, but it doesn't matter now. Nothing matters. You matter, and not just to me. I do want to believe that. Kate, your life is still yours. And we can get through this together. Let me help. You are such a liar. You wanted to help by ignoring my phone call? I swear, it was in silent mode and I didn't see it. Or I totally would have answered. I needed you to answer, Max. Everybody thinks I'm a viral slut now. There is no everybody. There's only your friends and your family who love you. Kate, please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. The fact that you don't care about that video and would come up here to stop me means a lot. I care about you because I believe you were drugged. We will find out who did this and make them pay. You sound so persuasive, Max. Only... Kate, I believe you. Will you believe me? Please, you don't have to do this. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up. Uh, unless I put myself to sleep. And then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. I'm horny on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. Nobody cares, Kate. There'll be another viral Victoria video in a day and everybody will forget. You can't scrub my video from the internet. And that's how I'll be remembered, unless I jump. Kate, you can't do this to all the people who care about you. No, nobody cares about me. Nobody. You told me about your sisters, especially the youngest one. What's her name? That's Lynn. She's only 10. She does have the best smile ever. I would hate to see her sad. Then make Lynn happy and step towards me. If she was here, you would know what to do. This isn't the end, Kate. There's no way God doesn't have big plans for you here. Nice try, Max. But God put me on this roof. Suicide is a sin, isn't it? 
If you believe in hell, you might end up there. I don't want that to happen. What difference does it make? I'm already in hell anyway. I know this isn't pleasant for any of us, but we have to go over what happened before Miss Marsh, before she did what she did. Officer Barry will be taking notes for the official police inquiry. I'm sure you'll give him your full cooperation. Such a tragedy. But there must be a reason for everything. We need to find out why Kate Marsh would be driven to such desperate action. As principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my duties seriously. I take the well-being of every student more seriously. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen, as our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not, and that is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through, but Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Did she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. All I know is that Kate was at a party and Nathan dosed her. She got wasted and kissed some boys on a viral video without a clue. I dosed her? <laughs> without a clue. Have you seen the video? Whatever. Kate was loaded and You're a liar. The field. You told Kate you took her to the emergency room. I said I was going to take her to the ER. She sobered up eventually. Bullshit. Something happened to her and you know it. How about we talk about you waving a gun in the girl's hey, bathroom? that's total slander. I could sue you and this school so fast. I already have a personal lawyer. Wait, Max. You told me that nothing happened yesterday. Are you just making things up? How can I trust you? You can't. She's smoking and selling dope, not saving lives. No, I'm not. And that has nothing to do with Kate Marsh. I'll have to investigate to see if this accusation is true. Therefore, Max, I'm obliged to contact your parents and suspend you for a few days. Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and fellow student is dead. And they don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. I'd like to be with my family. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me, but I think I can use my power again. Well, I think we know less now than when we started. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. I know this has been a stressful day. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you for coming in. I just can't believe it. It's like it wasn't even real. Watching her drop like a weight, I really thought I could save her. <sighs> like a superhero. Come on, Max. Do not for a second blame yourself. Kate was on that roof for her reasons, not yours. My hand just reached out. Stop it. You were the only one with balls enough to run to the roof. You were the only one who cared. 
Yeah, I sure made a big fucking difference. Maybe if more people cared, better people than me. You're the best person around. Warren, I screwed up today. That makes no logical sense. Warren, I don't mean to sound weird, but there's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow. Along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? What the hell is this? The weather confirms this weird day. I feel that chill. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I would know. I would. I believe you, Warren. I'll believe anything this week.